We're gonna check out Bull Pop right next to Space Tito. I like the design on this building. It's kind of crazy. Got the glass everywhere. They have a Jim Henson exhibit going on right now. We got our sticker for the museum. The experience is here. We paid extra five dollars for the Jim Henson exhibit. And then right now they're having a Star Trek Wild Blue Angel Jimi Hendrix or Hendrix Abroad. Oh, the Seattle Seahawks part. It's closing on March 4th. It's a good thing we're catching it before then. Sci-fi. Fantasy, worlds of myth and magic. That looks pretty interesting. Ooh, there's a horror exhibit. Horror, horror, horror. Oh, not a horror exhibit. Sky Church, level one. Sci-fi and fantasy hall of fame. Oh, that's where we're at right now. Kitchen, Wolfgang Puck. No way, that's the original Tron suit. No way. It is, due to the costume's fragile nature, we've created a custom mount to prevent any further stress on the artifact. Wow, Tron. That's a lightsaber and severed hand prop. No way, from the actual movie? This is the severed hand and lightsaber from the actual movie. That is insane. I'm straight up fangirling right now. This is the leather jacket at Pandora, worn by Harrison Ford in Indiana Jones. That is crazy. They have it here. The actual jacket and fedora. Oh my god. This is a briefcase from Total Recall. I don't remember the movie that much, but that's pretty awesome. It's the actual briefcase. This is the costume. One from Lost in Space. Will Robinson from Lost in Space. Oh, this outfit was from Blade Runner. I remember this this robot, Blade Runner. This was her outfit. Riley Scott's script for Aliens. The actual hand script, hand annotated script. The costume worn by that little girl from Aliens. They have it here, the Aliens girl. Oh man, it's Dr. Zayas himself. They have Dr. Zayas in here. The Dr. Zayas outfit from the original Planet of the Apes movie. Yes, the actual costume worn by Maurice Evans. Dr. Zayas. Dr. Zayas, Dr. Zayas. Dr. Zayas, Dr. Zayas. And here's a prop from the Matrix. I think this was a special effects bust. Keanu Reeves comes out of the, the tube or the tank. They use this bust. Here's Jules Verne's outfit from 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. This was a Disney movie. And this was his actual outfit. They have it here too. Oh my God. I have to admit, I don't know this teddy bear, but he was in a Kubrick movie. He must be pretty important. That's pretty awesome too. <laughs> I'm totally fangirling out in this whole exhibit. This sword you might recognize. It's from Lord of the Rings. It's used by one of the ring wraiths. Lord of the Rings. Wow, it's kind of cool. It actually, actually has a dent right here. It's curved. Never noticed that. This is Leonard Nimoy's actual costume. This is freaking Spock. It's Spock's. It's faded. Isn't it blue? It, I, maybe it faded, but that's Spock's outfit. That's Spock's actual shirt. Amazing. Ah, oh, look at all these guitars stacked up. That's amazing. Oh, that's pretty freaking epic. I wonder if any of these guitars are famous, or is it just a bunch of random guitars, but still epic. Oh. All right, we're about to check out the Indie Game Revolution exhibit. This is what May came here for. May, are you excited? Super. It's pretty neat. Mom, you can play a bunch of these indie games here. Mom, time's up. And just entering it, you can hear the 8-bit music. Pretty cool. Even the Xbox doesn't work in the exhibit. Just like real life. Like my Xbox that died. Is there a red ring? No red ring, but it doesn't work. Lame. This is a pretty fascinating game. You're pretty much controlling both ends of that person. Try to get the ball. 
Oh, you gotta keep the ball in your half. So oh, you guess keep the ball in your half. Yeah. Mesa, she didn't like it. I don't like it. Pretty cool artwork of Jimi Hendrix. We're gonna check out his exhibit next. This is Jimi Hendrix's necklace that he's wearing. This when he returned to Seattle. Pretty awesome they have this here. There's a lot of his handwritten notes on this wall, including this one. Unproduced, unreleased song. I think this costume is one of his more iconic looks. It's pretty cool. I think he he wore that one at a festival. In this exhibit, they actually have the Super Bowl trophy, a game ball, and a ring from the Super Bowl when they beat the Broncos. We're at the Davy Bowie exhibit. I like this quote a lot. Nothing really important of his, just a lot of photographs and videos of his performance. I like these Davy Bowie chairs. Pretty neat, you can sit on them. It's soft. We're gonna enter the infinite worlds of science fiction downstairs. This is for those who have looked to the stars and wondered. Ah, we just entered. It's like what May was just saying, it's like a Disney queue in here. It's like all themed. The actual exoskeleton from T2, Judgment Day. There's a lot of props in here. Here's the jacket worn by Arnold. T1000, the hands. And here's the actual Greedo mask. It's Greedo. A real Jawa costume. Oh, this was actually worn in The Phantom Menace. Look at the detail in this exhibit. Here's an outfit from the Fifth Element. Remember when she wore this? Everyone, this, this is a really iconic costume. I have to admit, I've never seen Doctor Who, but here's a costume from one of the original series. Doctor Who, the 80s. Here's an Imperial Dalek. Here's an Imperial Dalek from the actual show. They have a proton pack that was used in the movie. Ghostbusters. It's pretty cool. They actually have this here. And the trap. Oh my god, they actually have the hoverboards from the movie. From the movie, the real hoverboards. Infinite room. Do not enter. Infinite. Here's one of my favorite movies ever. Starship Troopers. And this is a bug from Clindathu. Oh my gosh, they have the bug. From Starship Trooper. Look at the details on this thing. It looks so real. <laughs> I can't believe I'm looking at this. And they actually kept it. That's so neat. Most people don't remember Starship Troopers. But I loved it. In here you can get a close-up look of the bug. Look how real that looks. That's so crazy. You can see the details on it. Wow, it lights up as you swing your hands around. Cool collection of blasters. I wonder if anybody here can identify every single one. I think this Han Solo's got for full armory case. And just in case you're wondering, you can see where each gun belongs. Starship your traverse. Okay, right next to the sci-fi one, there's fantasy, world of myth and magic. Oh, this door looks really awesome. They have a fiberglass hero sword used by Arna Schwarzenegger here. So this is Conan's sword. Here's a serious black costume piece from Harry Potter. Here's a dress worn by Judy Garland. The Wizard of Oz. This is Dorothy's costume from Wizard of Oz. The actual one. Oh, pretty cool. You can see it was stained here. The dress is stained. It's an actual working costume. We never washed it. Here they have the hat from the Wizard of Oz. The Wicked Witch. I think this was the actual hat worn by. Worn by the witch. <laughs> May's walking through this little hole. 
Here are some more costumes from Wizard of Oz. I'm assuming these were the actual ones worn. That's pretty awesome. And this one looks like it's still in good condition. You see his face. Here they have the costume and sword of Connor McCloud from Highlander. They have Gimli's, Gimli's mask from Lord of the Rings. Remember Gimli? Little, little dwarf? That's his mask. Well, I'm a trickster and you can self-impose your photo or your face into this trickster photo. Pretty cool. <laughs> oh wait, there's more. I can choose where I'm living. I want to live in the rolling hills. Okay, up next is the scared to death of horror films. Oh, I'm so scared, May. May, I'm so scared. It's a bit dark in here and it's hard to tell, but it's really creepy. What is this? Oh, it's Jason. Oh, it's a Hannibal Lecter mask. All up beyond this thing. Is it really a crime scene? Oh my gosh, look at this. Bloody footprints. Oh my gosh, May. Don't go in there. Don't go in there. Don't go in there. There's so many bodies everywhere. Oh. May. I'm trapped. Bodies everywhere. Oh, help me. Jeepers Creepers costume. The actual one from the movie. That's pretty gnarly. It's his face and everything. Oh, look at bulge. Interesting. They have the actual tank from the governor's mansion. I'm walking Dead. Look into detail. The actual faces. Any of these characters recognizable? I couldn't figure out why the picture should be working. We have the axe from The Shining here. Something's wrong with my my phone. Maybe the lighting? But here's the axe from The Shining. Here's the mask from Halloween. Yeah, something with the lighting here is ruining my videos. Where's Gizmo? Gizmo prop. Oh, I was absolutely terrified of this movie as a kid. Pet Cemetery. Actual props from Pet Cemetery. Here's the actual costume from Blade. Wesley Snipes' costume. Oh my gosh, this is the actual costume from Nightmare on Elm Street. And he signed it, Robert England. Oh, that's pretty neat. Can't believe I'm seeing this. It's really baggy, actually. I don't think I would be able to fit this. I've never actually seen this movie, but I, I know of this character, Critters. Pretty cool. That yeah, thing looks creepy. This is the actual costume from Aliens. If you go in, in the body bags, it's cool. Alien creature yeah, costume from the movie. Wow. This looks like it's still in great condition. It's all latex and it's pretty amazing as a custom. I thought this was a statue when I first saw it. Amazing. We're about to enter the Star Trek exhibit. Space, the final frontier. Stairs leading up to the exhibit. Metal tubes create the space look here. Did you know Lucille Ball brought Star Trek to the world? I didn't know that. How did you see the production? You ready to go back? The original script from the Star Trek pilot. It's amazing, they have it here. Here's an actual Tribble used in the Star Trek episode. Trouble with Tribbles. It looks like, like a, a hairball. Oh, this is pretty amazing. Captain Kirk's command chair and console, control console. Wow. The actual one, Captain Kirk. Captain Kirk's out there. And the controls. Better view of everything. Control console and the chair. Costumes. Different phasers from all the different Star Trek series and movies. I think these are actual ones used in the, the shows. LeVar Burton. Reading Rainbow. I 
can't go anywhere. Just take a look. It's in a book. It's reading rainbow. Yes. That's him, the reading rainbow guy. And that's his costume. They also have a cards costume here. And this person, don't know who that is. Here's Data's costume. And it's pretty eerie. I believe he loses his head somewhere. And it's right here. Here's a Star Trek exhibit from up here. And apparently there's triples hidden all over the place. And here's one right here. Here's all the Starship Enterprises up here. All the different ones. To be honest, I don't really know which one is which, but I just know they're slightly different from each other. You see you wing? Stop making things up. There's another triple right here. A yellow triple right here. You can't really see it here, it's a yellow triple. It's the air guitar. Please do not touch. Okay, I won't touch it. Me, don't touch the air guitar. We're in the sound of the art of music or the sound of music exhibit? Sound lab. Sound lab. Where'd I get sound of music? Anyways, there's just a bunch of musical instruments you can try out and it's like it teaches you how to use each instrument. And then there's also recording studios. You can go inside and record yourself jamming out or keyboards. Mixing people inside. Okay, this is the final exhibit. We're gonna check out the Jim Henson exhibit. We had to pay five dollars extra each. Check this out. And apparently, there's actual puppets here that he used. Mystic or Weaver Mystic puppet. It's right here. I think he's from Dark Crystals. I don't know, but it doesn't mention it. Pretty cool though to see in person. Here's Kermit, the actual Kermit. That is crazy. It's the first Kermit. The actual Kermit. I still can't believe it. Wow, I just can't believe. I'm actually seeing Kermit here. They also have the Ernie and Burt puppets. From the Sesame Street, these are the actual puppets. That is so cool. And the actual Robert Ducky. You think it's the actual Robert Ducky too? I don't know about that. Probably, but the actual puppets. That is so cool. <laughs> Just these two alone with Kermit. Worth the five dollars. And here's the count. And what's he saying, May? Two. Two. <laughs> five That's am dollars. <laughs> That's amazing. What's the song he sings in the Sesame Street show? Uh, one, two, go. three, one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, one. <laughs> and here's Grover as well. The actual ones. That's amazing. They're actually in really good condition for working puppets. I'm surprised. Well, I remember this as a kid. It's the worms from Sesame Street. It's pretty awesome they're here. And they have these two guys too. And all these puppets are actually lent, or they're on loan from the Museum of Moving Image. It's Scooter! I have to admit, i never seen Dark Crystal, but these are the two puppets from Dark Crystal. They look pretty cool. The two puppets from Fraggle Rock. I've never seen it, but it's still pretty cool to see. Man, I'm really lacking in the puppet movie department. Have you seen it? What is it called? Fraggle Rock? No? I think it's a show. And this is how Muppeteering works. You can do your own puppet show here. Right here, and you can email the video to yourself. Our nursemaid, our chocolate ice cream sodas. I was totally blocking like, me. You can email the video to yourself. It's broken. You can't email it to yourself. But that's us. Yeah. That's broken. Even the exit here. It's a little fuzzy things, like a puppet. Little fuzzy things, little fuzzy handles. I thought that was an awesome museum. Definitely worth the price. Students get a $3 discount. Definitely worth it. All the cool uh, movie artifacts and rare things they had. It was a lot uh, of fun. Highly recommended. It was so cool. It was so cool. What was your favorite part? So many things to do. 
I don't like the horror movie. The like horror the movie? Stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like the yeah. movie. Stuff. They had the Tron costume <laughs> and the lightsaber. Oh, oh so cool. Definitely worth checking out. Best thing in Seattle so far. Except for Bruce Lee's Grave Memorial. That's really better. But this is second best. 